There's only one circumstance under which we should happily accept hellfire over paradise. When the Jal will come, the Antichrist will come, he will have with him paradise and he will have with him hellfire. But his paradise is hellfire and his hellfire is paradise. And likewise, his forerunners, the people who are here before him, because obviously he's not here yet, they're also creating a world in which they're trying to give us a paradise. But that paradise is in fact hellfire. And likewise, they're trying to offer us something that they say is bad and evil and they say, you know, stay away from it. And they say it's hell when that is actually the truth and that is actually paradise. So what am I referring to? I'm referring here to materialism, to this hedonistic worldview of us following our base desires. You know, the desire to be famous, the desire to be wealthy, the desire to be better looking, the desire to have just greater things in this world, right? And just to have access to all of these types of things that celebrities and musicians and these type of people try and push. And when you fight that and you fight for the sake of God and you fight your own soul and you choose that hellfire, you choose the difficult path, you choose the path in which you are fighting those things and you're focusing on the Creator and you're trying to build a relationship with the Creator, that is true paradise because that is what's going to give you happiness. Indeed, in the remembrance of God do hearts find rest. And indeed, those who turn away from God, those who turn towards materialism, they are the ones who are going to have a depressed life. And the happy future belongs to the believers.